excuse me. Okay, now, this is, oh hello. I was kind of hoping that would happen while I was doing this. I wonder if there were green finches. I have seen them for a while. I'm about a mile along my little secret, quiet, next to a relief channel. Now this isn't where I intended to be when I left the house. I don't often come here this early in the year. I do come here every year. As butterflies come out at different points in time, I thought I would come down. I was originally going to Fisher's Green because one of the elusive butterflies I've been unable to film and photograph so far in the Lee Valley Park are orange tips. And yesterday, while there with one of my butterfly mad brothers, orange, we saw the first orange tips of this year. And he said they look fresh. In other words, they've just emerged. But as I left the house, there was a bit of a wind. And I was a bit tired from yesterday still. and was a bit worried that I would over exert myself and that the orange chips wouldn't be out anyway. This is about halfway to that site so I thought I'd pop down here first and see if any butterflies are about. Now I've seen small tortoiseshells, peacocks um, and I just see a couple of brimstones which is why I got the camera out because I thought I'd catch them fluttering about. Um, and after thinking I saw a speckled wood yesterday and my brother said it's too early as I was leaving my garden gate a speckled wood the first one I spotted this year landed on the bush bald as my garden surprised my brother when I texted him now I'm trying to been trying to get orange tips for heat oh it's a pick up I've been trying to get orange tips for about three years because they're just really colourful and make a good addition to the collection I have so far although my range is limited because I use a bike my content as regards English orchids and British wildlife and other stuff is going to vastly increase this year partly because I have something that makes the journeys a hell of a lot easier than they were before and there it's standing due to its bigger 29 inch wheels which I hated the idea of but these things just roll and roll and roll and they make the bumps a lot smaller and you have to pedal periods of pedaling a fewer and further apart than they would be on a 26 inch bike and this wee orange tip <laughs> yeah. oh no <laughs> you know this is the thing I love about wildlife anything you can just have them make an appearance when you least expect it stop flying away Oh hello, oh no it's a great tip. I just see a blue flash and I thought it was a kingfisher. Well, while I'm standing there, and I didn't reach the bit where I deliberately walked, because this, this path is quite open, which some butterflies will love, the open areas, and buzz and bounce around the top of this grass here. But the orange tips, things like the wood butterflies, some of the wood butterflies, like the speckled wood, uh, would be closer to the little wooded patches. And as you can see here, this path just winds down and it's pretty open apart from a hedge there which breaks up every now and then. But over there is a small wood which is prob 
probably wider that way towards the far end than it is this way. So I had thought, now there's a white, it's a very light butterfly. I have seen a couple of whites, but most of the light butterflies I've seen, oh hang on, no, that might be my, no I think that's a small white. I thought it might be an orange tip when I saw it was white and I'd just seen an orange tip. Well that was hopefully that orange tip was seen flying past me. It'd be bloody annoying if it isn't. But what I was gonna say was I'd, I'd come down here just to see if the butterflies were out because of the wind. While I've been here, the wind has dropped, which is good. The branches are moving a lot less. I'm not I always wear a vest in the warmer months. So I can always detect the wind on my shoulders. Ooh, the wind has definitely died down. And um, so the butterflies are out. And I was contemplating, I thought, well, if I come here, which is not too far, I have to watch over doing things with what I've got because it can just screw up everything. Even stupid tasks. You have to do the trouble with something like fibromyalgia is that um, you aggravate it and it can then aggravate so many things and it's not just the, the, the painful things it aggravates right um, then there's the skin thing there's things that, oh hello I look like a corn bunting I did think chaffinch at first yeah, they aggravate things. I mean, you can you can have skin flare-ups that can make it embarrassing. You can have trouble with going to the toilet, which can make things awkward. And believe me, anyone with fibromyalgia that affects going to the loo knows just how bad that can be. Right, and then there's the memory. So you have all these things. It's like it's, it's like you feel like you're being attacked on every side, and you can't do anything about any of these things. You know, if, if you've got little tasks you have to do, little things you have to pick up, a bill or something you've forgotten that you need to pay, you forget again. So it's difficult, especially when you're getting about on a bike, which most fibromyalgia people either already are or end up getting told to do because it's all about pacing I even said that at the uh, recent meeting I attend for fibromyalgia um, so you 